Hey everybody, welcome back to the Revelation Bible Study. My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. This year we decided to go through the entire book of Revelation as a Bible study, put it online, okay? So we're socially distant, we're safe, right? You're gonna study the book of Revelation in your own home, and best news is we're gonna go through it slowly. Nice and slow, maybe a couple minutes here and there, and uh, you know, you can bounce around. You can go back and catch up, you can binge all the previous videos, or you can just start right here. Uh, watch whatever you like in any order. Uh, we're just glad to have you. We are in Revelation chapter 3, and we're going to be reading verses 3 through 5. Uh, Jesus is still dictating his letter to the church in Sardis, and he had told uh, that church that he knew their reputation. And he said, you know, you, you guys think that you're alive, but Jesus says, you in fact are dead. In verse 3, he continues, If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come against you. Revelation is all about what it's going to be like when Jesus returns. But who is Jesus saying should get ready? It's not the liberals. It's not the conservatives. He's not talking to the enemy. He's not talking to the freaks or the weirdos. No, Jesus says to us, right? To us, to his followers. He says, wake up. Look, bottom line, I don't want to do anything today that wouldn't look right when Jesus comes tomorrow. <laughs> you want Christ to come right in the middle of you losing your temper with your wife and kids? You want Christ to return the moment that you're doing something shady at work? You want Christ to return when you think that nobody is looking? Remember, this letter right here is about the reputation of these Christians, the reputation of this church. So it really doesn't matter what the world thinks of you. Probably doesn't even matter what your church thinks of you or your work because Jesus knows the real us, right? He knows the real you, he knows the real me, and he doesn't care about our earthly reputation. So where do you wanna be when Christ returns? What do you wanna be doing when Christ returns? Because that's what we should be doing right now. You and I should be proud of our lives Verse 4 says, Yet you will still have a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments, and they walk with me in white, for they are worthy. So that's good news. It's not a blanket statement, right? It's not this entire church. Uh, there are some people that uh, are being looked at in the light. The whole church isn't all bad apples. Jesus says, There's some good people in your church, and he says of them in verse 5, the one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments, and I will never blot his name out of the book of life. See, back in Jesus' day, there were these registries, there were journals for people who were alive in your town. And when someone died in that town, their name was erased. Jesus says there's a book of life also in heaven, a book where your name will never be erased. And this is a picture of purity and a picture of holiness and a picture of obedience. So reading through these letters, I know it's hard, but you know, this is eternity that we're talking about. And I know this is a tough lesson too. So far, these letters to these churches have all been tough. Jesus has been hitting these churches pretty hard. And maybe this is one of the things that makes people a little leery about reading this book. Maybe what makes it a little hesitant to want to try to understand it. But let's be honest, you don't want to fake it, right? You don't want to fake your faith and you don't want just to have a good reputation on earth when uh, your family might not even know the real you or your wife or your husband doesn't know the real you or your church or your work doesn't know the real you because it, it doesn't matter what name you build for yourself here on earth because when you die, you'll stand before God and you don't want God to say, depart from me, I never knew you. That's not going to be okay. And while everyone on earth thinks, oh yeah, they're in heaven, people will 
talk about your reputation at your funeral, but the reality was the entire time you were far from God and that it was all an act. It doesn't make any sense to be fake. You're not going to gain anything from it. When Christ returns, you won't even care about your earthly reputation. You'll only care about your character. And hey, I don't stand before you as the perfect example either. There has been hidden stuff in my life growing up, especially before I got married. My character wasn't right. I wasn't listening. I wasn't obeying. But every day for me is also a journey and it never gets easier. You're never perfect. And I still make mistakes. And I'm the last person that would ever judge you because I've been there. But I want to get right with God. I want to listen. I want to obey. And Jesus tells this church in Sardis, I see what's going on. And he says, I'm concerned. I'm not concerned about your earthly reputation, not your worldly one, just your heavenly one. Hey, I hope this uh, study has been helpful in breaking these verses down, uh, even if it's just a little bit at a time, helping us unlock some of these revelation secrets. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.